folks. So um, I'm gonna make a quick little demo video for y'all so to how to start your base and begin your walls. Um, so first off, I finished cutting my uh, spokes, which are my vertical elements, and I put them in a basin of water to soak. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a really long weaver from um, my bundle that's hanging on the door frame. Um, and you want to make sure that this is at least uh, two arms length long. Mine's a little bit longer, so that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this in the basin of water as well. Um, and we'll be ready to weave in just a sec. This is what my water basin looks like and everything's going to hang out in this water for about five minutes. Um, and so what you need to have nearby is your needle nose pliers. Um, and then I also have a little alligator clip. Um, you can use a clothespin. Oh, looks like I lost it. That's okay. You don't need it. Um, let me push this aside and let me show you the basket we're going to work on. So this is the basket we're going to work on. It's called a bulk basket. And then this is the bottom that we'll be working on. So you can see that it's kind of a cross. There's eight spokes um, in this cross going this way and then eight going the other way. Um, for my basket and, um, and for yours, I'm going to recommend just doing six in one group and six in the other group. It'll be easier to keep, a, um, to keep everything organized and maybe more, uh, friendly for a first time weaver. Um, so let's go ahead and see if our reeds are ready to go. So you just want to make sure that your reed is uh, wet and flexible. So this is my weaver. It's a very, very long piece. Um, I want to make sure that I can find both ends of this really long piece. One end is going to have a, you want to stagger the tails. So that one tail is like about three inches longer than the other tail, maybe four. And then go ahead and follow that length. And you can find the, where you're going to fold it in half.
And so we're gonna start weaving in the round. So you can see I have my basket pointing to my tummy and then all of the spokes are pointing away from my stomach and I'm weaving from left to right. Um, and so we're gonna keep weaving. Uh, I'm using my left hand to keep um, my spokes in place and find some tension. And my right hand is twining and moving spokes. All right, so we're gonna add a weaver. Um, what we want is for our weaver, our old one, our shortest one, to be on the right side of this spoke. It hasn't been twined yet. Just gonna be on the right side and it'll face on the inside of the basket. Our newest weaver, is gonna go right underneath it. It's gonna go on the right side of the spoke that hasn't been twined yet. This one, this weaver is on the left of the spoke. We're just gonna go ahead and twine using our old longest weaver and our new weaver and we're just twining in. Um, and that's the move. And then we're gonna watch it again, because it's gonna be trying to add another one. Here you see, you can see I'm still making my bowl shape. And then this is my short weaver, it just ran out. Uh, it's on the right side of these spokes. I'm gonna grab my new weaver. I'm gonna insert it right here. It's on the right of the spoke, right underneath the old uh, weaver. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep twining. And make sure you're squishing your spokes so that they're making bowl-like shapes and keeping the spokes about an inch apart from each other. So you can just use your body and just kind of, you can weave in the air, you can weave um, sitting on the floor, you can weave sitting on a chair, um, and just kind of see what happens with your basket. Um, this is really nice to do if you're sitting in the grass in a pretty spring day. Um, if, you know, you're near the river, you can grab a rock and weave around a rock. Um, you could find a bowl that you like and weave around a bowl or a shape that you like. Um, some people said, like, you know, um, finding, like, a found object that they're interested in and weave around that. Um, so just... If you, you don't have to just make this bold basket shape, you can do whatever you want. Um, the only thing I ask is that you leave like six inches of, find your shortest spoke and then weave up to six inches of your shortest spoke. Um, because you'll need six inches to finish the lip and make a fun, like intricate braid to make a lip on, on the basket. Similar to, similar to this little braided lip. Um, 
So that'll be the next video is how to weave the lip. Thank you so much. Have fun with your basket. I hope it's relaxing. You can start like two or three baskets. I think you might have enough material for at least two, three, try three as well. Um, and just have fun. We'll see you, I think, March 14th. Bye.